Man, I tell you, <laughs> why did it have to rain on the only day that I have to make this video? What you gonna do? What's up, y'all? I'm Black Talent Sport. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I got something uh, special for you guys. It's quite different than anything I've ever really had on the channel. From time to time, I will mix it up just to let you know. All right, um, if you haven't, uh, been able to tell by the thumbnail and the title today we're going to be talking about uh, a ghost cam tune <laughs> very unique um, but first before we go any further please I want to remind you guys to please continue to smash that like button subscribe hit the notification bell make sure it's on all so that you'll get notified when I come out with these videos I would greatly appreciate it all right, let's get right into it. Now, uh, I'm just gonna explain a little bit of a background here. The There was a video that surfaced on uh, social media. Someone posted it of um, a guy. He basically purchased a ghost cam tune from um, Ortiz performance. When he posted it, very intrigued by it. It's like, yo, I mean, I've, this is not nothing new. It's been around for quite some time. Uh, but you always see it on Mustangs and stuff like that, you know? Never on an Explorer. So when the guy posted the video, I sent him a message. You know, I was like, you know, hey, do you mind if I um, make a video about this? He said, sure. Uh, he wanted to remain nameless. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to call him George just to give him, you know, some reference. So George, you know, gave me permission to uh, to post these uh, these videos. And so what I'm going to do at this moment is uh, I'm just going to uh, play the video for you. And then we're going to talk about it. We're going to discuss it. We're going to go over what it is, so forth and so on. So why don't we just have a listen to this uh, ghost cam tune on George's car by uh, Ortiz performance. Give us some gas. <laughs> all right all right didn't that thing sound crazy i mean my goodness <laughs> oh man i'm i'm sure that man turns heads uh when if he has the tune on at the time he pulls up anyway stoplights um quite a few things we could discuss about this um let me know in the comments below how do you feel about that uh, how it sounds, how his Explorer sounds and so forth and so on. Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. So let us, let's first go into what is ghost cam, what is a ghost cam tune basically. But ghost cam basically is, uh, is overlap. They're giving, they're exaggerating the amount of overlap, valve overlap with the exhaust and the intake valves. And that's what basically you know, gives it that, that excessive chop there. Uh, of course, along mixed in with locking the cams in a certain spot, a certain degree, and uh, taking the phasing away. So that's what gives it that 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 really chop. <laughs> um, you know, George, he did mention to me uh, that it, it reminds him of uh, when he used to have a big cam um, on a manual transmission. You know, sometimes you get that that stalling. He, he did say that it sometimes would stall. Um, I don't know if I would like that, but you know, it's a it, it's a tune. He said he can load up in ten minutes and take it off if he wants to. Um, so basically, what it is is it's basically just um, <laughs> it's mimicking how the engine would sound if it actually had a bigger set of cams. Uh, there's no performance gain from it, you know. So it, it's just like 
making others think that you have a big can when you really don't. Uh, you know, like I said, there's, there's really no gains. It's, it's just kind of like one of those things you want to show off or you want to, you know, give an impression. I, hey, you know what I'm saying? To each his own. I'm not knocking the man, you know. Um, to me, it's not really much of a difference between what people do to their vehicles visually uh, versus what this, what George did uh, with the sound. Basically, what I'm saying is this. You got people that will put skinnies up front and a big old drag tie in the rear but never spend a day in their life drag racing. <laughs> There's people that do that. I'm not knocking them. It's the same. I see it as the same thing. Um, you know, but how I feel about Ghost Cam, uh, a uh, Ghost Cam 2, it's not something that I would do. Um, mainly for uh, several reasons, you know. To me, it doesn't quite, it doesn't sound like the chop of a V8. And it doesn't, to, to me, it doesn't sound like the chop of a Cam V6. You know, V6 is a lot smoother. Um, however, I, I do hear some similarity between my exhaust and his exhaust, um, of which I'll give the rundown of his exhaust in a moment. Um, just a few other points that George mentioned to me is that, uh, he said that Ortiz said that this is a, a cat friendly tune. Sounds rather odd because, you know, uh, the only way that I can see that this is a cat friendly tune is if it's not dumping fuel. The overlap, yes, I can, I can understand why it sounds like that, but the fuel, man, if it's, if it's dumping excessive fuel out of the exhaust, that's going straight to the cat, and eventually those, you know, that will either blow out the cat or melt it. It's not good for the cats. But according to uh, George, he said that, you know, Ortiz said it's a uh, cat-friendly tune somehow. I mean, I've had, I heard, uh, some some exhaust or some cars with this particular tune that have cats and that do not have cats and they they sound very different. I think the catless um, cars sounded a little bit better. That's in my opinion. Um, so let, let let's go. Let, let me do a quick rundown of what. Um, what what the exhaust system is with uh, George's Explorer? He did mention. I I asked him. I said, "Do you still have your primary cats?" He told me, "Yes, he still has the primary cats." Uh, so he told me he does not have the third cat. He has an X pipe in the middle to delete the third cat, and then he has a muffler as well. Uh, but his his exhaust setup is very similar uh, to what mine would be. Um, so that's his his exhaust. Now I did. Here are a couple of videos of um, like a, a show with uh, with this particular tune. It probably wasn't from Ortiz. I think, yeah, matter of fact, it was from Ortiz. And that thing to me sounds like a, a Windsor V8 with a blower. <laughs> Catted versus uh, Catless. I think this particular Ghost Cam tune sounds better on a Catless. So let me know in the comments below, um, is this something that you would do to uh, your Explorer? Uh, like I said, I, I, I won't be, I don't, at this, I, won't, I won't be doing, I had no desire uh, to, uh, to get it chopped like that. As a matter of fact, you know, even just one one other point about this particular tune is that, to my understanding, um, I believe Ford used to offer uh, this type of a tune or feature, whatever you have you want to call it, on some of the uh, the Boss 302s that they used to sell. If you have a Boss 302, let me know in the comments below um, if you have, if you still have uh, this type of a chop on um, on your 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 Mustang. Be very interested to, uh, to to hear from some of you guys that have this particular tune and you know how you feel about it. Uh, oh, oh, one other thing, uh, of course, why I won't be getting this as well is that apparently you need an engage 
to uh to get this too and i had i have the uh, sct bdx so that's another strike for me not getting it but like like i said this is not something that i particularly want to get this is just something that it, it came forth and i figured it'd be a good idea for us to discuss it and to uh to just kind of showcase what george has done you know i think it's cool it's it, i think it's cool you know hey <laughs> i don't see nothing wrong with it you know what i'm saying it's his car and uh hey it's just one of those things that you might continue you might you know you might see on some other explorers or or some other mustangs or what have you hey feature his own ain't hurting nobody well, right, well, that's going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, please stay tuned to the channel because I do have quite a few videos that I am working on. And just a very quick update. Bullet will be home really, really soon. Um, today is, is Thursday now, and I was told that it should be ready on Thursday, which is today. But by the time you see this video, I might already have Bullet back. We'll see. Hopefully. You know, there's been quite a few delays, so... It is what it is. Hopefully, Bullet is home already. And I just, I can't wait, man. I spent like, this is like what, forty, maybe forty-two days or so since, uh, since I've had it, you know, since I haven't had Bullet. Anxious to have it back. But anyway, that's gonna wrap up this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please continue to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. Uh, also, remember to have a blessed day and peace out.